So it is time for another battle of the book box. This time I have an Outcrate box and I am pitting it against another monthly subscription box. Stay tuned to see which box I am pitting against Outcrate for the month of April and um, what I thought about them. Hey y'all, it's Jen and welcome to my channel Ifers Inklings and today I have my April unboxing Battle of the Boxes video where I pit Alcrate against another subscription box for this month. Um, this month, um, as always, I'm going to start off with my April Alcrate box and as always, Alcrate is a YA book box um, that you can subscribe to for one month, three months, or six months. And I don't have the prices for this video, but if you're interested to know what the price breakdown is, they are at um, in other videos, and I will do the link below so you can check out Alcrate yourself if you are interested in subscribing. Um, they're currently sold out for the month of May, and so they are not showing their subscription prices right now, so I can't tell you what those are. Um, but they run roughly... $30 a month plus shipping for the box. So let's dive into this month's owl crate. As always, I've already um, just cut the, the tape, but I haven't looked in this box yet. And so this is what it looks like when we first open it up. As always, we always have the spoiler card. I am not going to look, but the um, April theme is Shadows and Secrets. The first thing we have in the box is... Um, and this is a coffee blend mix, I believe, Alcrate exclusive. It is deadly dark chocolate and sea salt. Oh, that sounds good. Um, and it is exclusive from the coffee company, Bones Coffee Company. Um, smells good. Um, I can't wait to dive into this. I may have some of this in the morning. The next thing in our box over here is this item um, and it is a wild berry shadow hunter handcrafted bar soap from the three sisters Apo apothecary let's open this up um, and it's just it's just a soap and it smells so good um, you definitely has that wild berry scent. You can smell some um, blueberry in it. The next item in our box is our um, button that we we get in every box that matches our theme. Then we have huh, some pencils, and they're Harry Potter related. So one of them says. Mischief managed. No, yeah. What the this gold one in the middle says mis, mi, mischief managed. This top one on the the red one says I sol solemnly swear I'm up to no good. And the bottom one, this black one, says um, property of the half blood prince. And these are also an Alcrate exclusive from. Jubilee Design Studios. Okay, next in here we have this looks like a vinyl decal and it says everyone has dark inside everyone has darkness inside of them however hidden. That is inspired from the Young Elites. This next item I bet this is a pillowcase. It is a pillowcase. Turn it the right way. And it says, when you can't beat the odds, change the game. And I think that is a Six of Crows quote. Crooked Kingdom. And then we have, oh, we have a little, um, like excerpt from Legendary, which is the sequel to Car Caraval by, Le by Stephanie Garber. Um, 
looks like it's about 30 pages, so maybe the first couple of chapters. Next, we have the book, which um, I had actually guessed this book after watching um, a book haul from Allie over at Hardback Quarter. As soon as she started describing this book on her channel I, that she had picked up, I think she received an arc of it. Um, I immediately knew that this was what book we were getting in our crate this month. So that book is Ace of Shades by Amanda F Foodie. Foodie. Um, I'm not sure what this is about other than I know it takes place in Vegas and she gets um, wrapped up in some kind of game that she's trying to solve. I think it's a, she's trying to solve a mystery. Um, I don't know a lot about it, but I knew... Um, but it really sounds interesting. It's got the secrets. It's got the lies. It's got the gaming. It's got the intrigue in it. So it really sounded interesting. And this one is autographed. And this should be an exclusive cover as well. And then, of course, we have the letter from the author. It looks like we've got this little booklet. I'm not exactly sure what this is. But this is like, on the back is like a subway map. Oh, they're postcards. Let's see. The postcards back here. And they've got different things on them. This is what it says about the book. The city of New Rains holds many secrets down its dark and twisted streets. Ain Salta... A girl who would never originally set foot in the city finds herself there on the search for her missing mother. When the only lead that she ends up being a street lord and con man named Levi, she knows she'll have to keep her wits about her. The quest to find her mother will take Ian through glamorous casinos, deals with the mafia, and deep into the underbelly of this illicit city. We found Ace of Shades to be such a wild ride within a setting of characters we had never quite seen before. We hope you enjoy this exclusive signed edition as well as the letter from author Amanda Foodie and exclusive postcard set. Definitely sounds interesting. Let's see what the original cover looks like. Um, because we have, as always, we've got the little booklet that they've started including now. And this is the difference. So this one is our cover here. And this is the cover that everybody else gets. Again, I actually think I like the original cover better on this one. And then we have next month's spoiler card in here, and it is A Fight Like a Girl for the month of May. And it looks like we're going to get some bath bombs in this one, which I know my daughters will be happy because they always end up getting my bath bombs. So that was it for the Outcrate box. Let's dive into the next box now. And this month I am going to be opening and reviewing Shelf Love Crate. Um, this is also a YA fantasy box. It, um, I, you can do this as a one-time purchase or in a subscription of one month, three months, or six months. And the one month purchase is $30, $29.99 plus shipping. So it's very comparable to Alcrate. And um, with this one, I can't tell you what the subscription prices are because they're sold out of their subscriptions. Um, and so they don't list them on their website either. But I will link the website. You, they do have May boxes available for a one-time purchase still. Um, but let's dive into this crate because I'm excited to see what Shelf Love has to offer. So when we open it up, this is what it looks like, and they've got pretty blue worms in there. So the first thing we see on top is their um, little spoiler brochure. Um, I'm not going to read it, but, um, and then on the back it has May's theme, which May's theme is written in the stars. Okay, so April's box that I have is Magical Manipulators, and like I said, this is the spoiler, so I'm not going to look at it. So the first thing I pull out of this box is a tote bag, because we all need tote bags. That's what it looks like. 
and I don't know who these people are, Elaine and Roland, Roland, Rowan, Throne of Glass. So this is a Sarah J Moss Throne of Glass tote bag. I haven't read that series yet, have not read anything by Sarah J Mass, so I did not know. The next thing we have in here is some soap. And this is Willow and Honey. This, I guess, smell is Earth Gem, Spirit Gem Soap. I have no idea what it smells like because I can't smell it through the wrapper. And then my next item in here is, oh, this is a coaster. That's what it looks like. And it says, I am lightning made of flesh, colder than falling snow, unstoppable as the desert sands riding the wind. So, I have no idea what that quote's from either. Roar, R-O-A-R. And it gives me a recipe for a hurricane in here, so that's awesome. The next item in the bag is um, an eye mask. She moved like storm. She moved like a storm. Someone had given steel to. And that is a quote from Rebel of the Sands. Next, I have a playing card of some sort. And this is a series that they do where they include a card. This one is 3 out of 10, and this is Lavana Blackburn, The Queen. And I think this is part of the Sarah J. Mass series. I, I don't know. Then we have a wooden bookmark here. And this says, her heart was a river that carried her to the sea. And that is a Lee Bardugo quote. Next, we have a postcard print. That is gorgeous. This is from the Cinder series, the Lunar Chronicles. That is Queen Lavana. And I didn't even remember that. How awful is that? And then we have the book. Um, this is another really popular book. Right now it is fantasy. I've been hearing a lot about this over the last couple of weeks. And that is The Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian. I'm really not sure exactly what it's about. Let's see if this card tells me. It says, submerge yourself in a world of intrigue, deception, and schemes where a forgotten princess will find her strength to reclaim her power. We hope you enjoy Ash Princess as much as we did. Um, and also Laura's letter and signed book plate. So here is the letter from the author right here, which is part of the spoiler card, and then the signed book plate. And then we also got another bookmark. This is a beautiful cover. And it's that soft, buttery cover. I just love that. So, sounds interesting. I know this book is getting a lot of good reviews. So that's it for my unboxing today. Um, of the two boxes, I think Alcrate was a little bit better this month. Um, they're about the same price, but the items in Alcrate were just phenomenal. Um, you know, we've got, we get so much. We got the, the, the coffees, we got the pencils, we got the, um, pillowcase, we got the soaps, and it just seems to be a little bit more than what we got in the shelf crate the shelf love crate although I do think it's a phenomenal box um, and this will go up on my list of one that I may want to revisit and if you enjoy sci-fi and fantasy books and that's all you want you don't want to take a chance on getting a contemporary or something else that you might get with Owl crate then this is definitely one you should check out as well and that's it if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up as always hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and be sure and check me out on social media, which is always linked in the down box below. Also, um, let me know what boxes you want me to unbox. I do have May's box already on order, but I'm looking for a suggestion for June and July and the rest of the year as well. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know because I need to get on that so that I don't miss out on a box. Um, and as always, until next time, bye.